You know, I I sit here and I, I think of the 20 uh, Supreme Court nominees I've gotten to vote on over my years here, and I think of the remarkable praise you got from the former Republican House Speaker Paul Ryan, um, whom most of us know well. He, he did mention his politics may be different than yours, but his praise for your intellect, for your character, for your integrity is unequivocal. That's powerful praise. And I, I think it goes to a really fundamental point, and that's this. One doesn't have to have the same political beliefs or ideologies as a judicial nominee to recognize their integrity and intellect. Uh, when I voted to confirm Chief Justice John Roberts of the Supreme Court, I cast that vote knowing very well that he and I would disagree on many policy and political issues. But I voted yes because I believe that he had what it takes to serve as an impartial, fair Chief Justice who would uphold the rule of law, and I want to take it out of partisan politics. Now, what would you say to people whose politics may be different than yours, like Speaker Ryan, who has endorsed you? What would you say to those people about your readiness to serve as an even-handed, unbiased Supreme Court justice? Thank you, Senator. I would say that I am committed to serving as an even-handed Supreme Court Justice if I'm confirmed by this body. And I have a record over the past decade that's precisely how I've treated all of my cases. And I've been serving in the District of Columbia, both as a trial judge and as an appellate judge, and we see some of the most politically contentious issues. My record demonstrates my impartiality, 